Welcome to the world of sampling. I am your host, Lightfoot. This uh, broadcast is brought to you by uh, Hurricane Matthew. Hurricane Matthew is expected to brush South Carolina's coast, Georgetown, South Carolina's coast, uh, sometime late Friday night and early Saturday morning. And all those that live in Zone A should evacuate. The MAR broadcast has decided to film before the storm and during the storm and hopefully after the storm. But uh, what I'm going to do now as your host, I'm going to show you around Sam Pitt a little bit before the storm. This is Wednesday, about 20 minutes after 12 p.m. There's a lot of traffic on the Sam Pitt Road, 17A. There's more traffic on 17A than normally during this time of day. You can see down this road here, the Sam Pitt River uh, goes beneath this road. And we're hopeful, hopefully it will not flood like it did last year. But the Sam Pitt River here is prone to flood. Good morning from the world of Sanford, South Carolina. Uh, here it is Friday morning at 10.33 a.m. We expect to get some rain somewhere around 3 or 4 o'clock from the storm. We are batting down the hatches. We've got everything stocked. Our food, our water, our drinks. Uh, we, we are pretty much prepared now. Uh, the only thing we left to do now is to wait. There's a lot of power lines around where I'm standing and hopefully they'll be standing by the more afternoon. But I know there's going to be a lot of outages and we'll probably camp for, for a while. So wherever you at, stay safe. Peace and love to you all. Late Friday evening.
The porch, the top of the porch, landed on top of the house. Jeanette Brett was just standing inside her doorway when the porch blew off and landed on top of her house. Sampet River, flooding 17A, three fell against the power lines. So it might be some time before we get power here in the world of Sampet. Over here, the Sandpit River. blown over. This is Hambone from the world of Sampit. Hambone, what'd you think about Hurricane Matthew? Fine-ish. Fine-ish? Fine-ish, I don't know. Did it scare you? A little bit? Um, Is this the first hurricane you ever been through? So what'd you think about a hurricane? I don't know. I don't like it. You don't like a hurricane? Unless it's the windy part. You like the windy part? Mm -hmm. What do you think about being without electricity? I don't like it. I don't get to play on the tablet. You don't get to play on your tablet? No. Yeah. Alright, thank you, Hambone from the World of Sampit. Bye, bye. This is Gator from Gator. Sampit. Gator, Sampit. Gator, what did you think about the hurricane in Sampit? Um, the swing set. The swing set? Yeah. What did you think about the hurricane, the storm? The windy. Windy? Yeah. Okay then. Here is Fat Bag from the world of Sampit. Fatback, what did you think about the hurricane that just came through the world of Sampit? I imagine. Now, is this your first hurricane? Yeah. Your first one you ever seen? Mm -hmm. 
So what do you think about a hurricane? I like hurricanes, except when it's near me. You, I, like, I mean like I'm reading about the hurricane. So what do you want to tell everybody that's experienced Hurricane Matthew? It was bad, and always be prepared for um, hurricanes. All right, thank you for that. Back from Sampa. Hurricane Matthew has moved on now but not before leaving this destruction behind. I just want to give a shout out to what I've been hearing on the radio about how neighbors have been coming together and helping neighbors. And the restaurants have been cooking foods and just giving it away on the side of the roads to people in need. Right here in our own little community, right here in the world of Sampit, we have had a few neighbors here I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank Jamie Hewitt. He's been on the grill cooking. Uh, cranked his generator on drop course to two different homes. You know, for refrigeration purposes and, and maybe a TV or radio or something like that. And uh, one neighbor had some water water issues, water problems. So Jamie uh, Jamie ran a uh, water hose to uh, that neighbor's house so they can have water. You can, as you can now hear uh, Jamie's uh, generators running in the background. Again, thank you, Jamie. Uh, I'd also like to thank Mr. Laverne Bridge. He found out that uh, one of his neighbors uh, was running low on supplies. So he helped them. He took it upon himself to help them replenish their supplies. Thank you to uh, Ms. Amber Hewitt for uh, giving uh, the grocery gift card to our little community. Uh, it helped uh, replenish supplies for three households. Thank you a lot, Ms. Amber Hewitt. And I would like to thank uh, Mr. Kevin Britt and his wife, April, for uh, supplying the neighbors around, around here. Uh, with uh, ice, uh, ice from their ice maker. They also had a generator, and the ice maker was making ice, and take, she'd take the freezer bag and fill them up with ice, and uh, pass them out to the neighbors that needed them. Uh, last but not least, I would like to thank my wife, Wanda Roberts, for all of her cooking. She's a mighty fine cook. And, uh, and going around to different households, make sure everybody's got what they need, the food they need. Also, we'd like to thank her for doing most of the shopping. She's been steady going since the storm. Go around, make sure everybody's taken care of. Thank you, Wanda. I would like to thank, uh, I would like to thank Governor Haley for her quick response in setting up the evacuation and the warning, all the warnings given. We've been without electricity since Saturday morning. Here it is Tuesday morning, and we're still camping patiently. Uh, I know that there's a lot of down power lines and a lot of down trees. And, uh, I want to thank all the linemen, uh, everybody that works for the electric companies. I want to thank them. I know they got their hands full. Uh, I, I could I couldn't imagine. Well, we know all the reports that I've been hearing. I could. Uh, they just got their hands full. And so we're gonna sit here patiently. And we're gonna camp and because uh, they they got a lot going on. They got a lot of work to do. Um, I would like to thank uh, all the police departments, uh, city police, sheriffs, sheriff's departments. Did a fine job. Did doing fine fine work. I'd like to thank the first responders, our national guard here in South Carolina. Upstanding young men and women. I'd like to thank them. 
in the DNR, like thank them all things. I have heard so many um, good reports from good people coming together and helping each other. And like I say, I, I say it over and over again, it makes me proud to be a South Carolina. It makes me proud to be from South Carolina. This storm, it was a small storm when it reached us, but it packed a big punch. Kind of surprised me a little bit. May many blessings be upon me. lost their lives during this storm I'm all the way to Haiti North Carolina a lot of lives were lost and uh, my heart and thoughts go out to all the family members that have experienced such a loss Stay tuned at the end of this video, I'm going to be uh, showing pictures the aftermath of Hurricane Matthew. Peace and love to you all from the world of Sanders.